Hey, what is going on guys? Computer Surgeon here, and as we all know, batteries deplete after a while and they sometimes aren't as good as when you first get them. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed this, and with MacBooks especially, I've seen a little bit of a decline in my battery after having it for about a year. So I want to replace mine so I can get it to the max performance that it did when I got it. So what I did was I purchased a brand new battery for my 2015 MacBook Pro, and I'm going to show you guys how to replace that battery, and I'm also going to be showing you how to do this with a 2013 inch MacBook Air. I'm going to be doing a lot of different variations of this because over the years Apple batteries have been kind of switching up their batteries a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this with a 2013 MacBook Air and let's get right into it. Once you open up the back of your Mac, you're going to need a six point pentalobe screwdriver to remove the five screws from the battery. There's one in each corner as well as one in the middle. The one in the middle can be kind of hard to see and I made that mistake when doing my first one, but just make sure you remove that one. And then you can go ahead and remove this little clip up here in order to release the battery from its holding. Now once you do that, you can just kind of lift up. It should come up no problem unless the clamp is still stuck but just go ahead and remove that one and grab the replacement battery this one was hundred and ten dollars from ifixit.com and that will be linked in the description but make sure that you don't screw in the screws too tight otherwise you will crack where the screws go into and this could lead to some future problems down the line and we obviously don't want that to happen and this can happen on any side so just try not to screw it in too tight when you're screwing it back in or removing it so just put the battery back in where it's supposed to go and then make sure you have this clamp tightly secured in here it can be kind of difficult to get in sometimes mine didn't really want to go in the first time so I had to try it a few times but eventually it will get in there don't be afraid to get a little rough with it there's not much that you can really break just because the way that the clamp holds there's nothing that you can break off of it very simple to replace the battery. Some people are just a little bit nervous to do it because they've never replaced a battery like this before. A lot of them just replace simple Windows PC batteries and those are really just easy to kind of pop out and pop back in. So like I said guys, not hard at all. The good thing about this one is that it's a single cell battery so all you have to do is just remove a few screws and take it out. Be very careful though because if you do end up puncturing the battery, it can explode and of course we don't want that to happen. So I will be doing the next video on a 2015 MacBook Pro. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave some suggestions for videos in the comments below if you have a specific problem with a laptop or something. Maybe I can try and help you out, show you how to get it fixed. So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out and and thanks for watching.